Welcome everyone. I'm Kimberly Boschman, and this is the Intentionally Intuitive Podcast. In this episode, we're going to take a look at each personal month forecast for the month of May 2023. And this will include the forecast for the full moon as well as the new moon. And that full moon that we have at the beginning of the month on the 5th is a full moon lunar eclipse. So it's a big one. Before we get into the forecast, this of course is a general reading. If you would like a personalized reading where we'll take a deep dive into your own personal numerology, please book some time with me. My information is in the description box below and you can get an idea for the services that I offer and what might align with your current needs. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look. Now May 2023 is a, a three universal month. Okay, what that means is that basically, collectively, we're all going to sort of be feeling the energy of the three. And what that could bring about is sort of more focused energy on communication, how we communicate, how we sort of share our stories, um, our words, right, the wit, the written, the spoken word. Um, we of course have a, uh, Mercury retrograde at the beginning of the month and through the mid month. So, you know, communication might be a little bit off. So where it's showing us that, uh, or, you know, where there might be some sort of glitches is sort of showing us where we might need some additional work, right? So in other words, the energy of the three, if there's miscommunication, if there's a breakdown in communication, this energy is going to assist us in recognizing that and trying to do better, right? It's not always about how we feel we need to express ourselves, but also taking into consideration how that expression might land for others and what is uh, more easily digestible and what isn't, right? And so if we want to get our message across, we have to take into consideration others and sort of how they receive that information, right? We don't have control over that, but we certainly have control over the intention behind our communication, our written, our spoken word. And, uh, you know, if that's coming from a place of vengeance or hatred or ugliness, right? Uh, or the need to be right. Um, that's going to land a lot differently than if it's coming from a place of an open heart and one of, um, just genuineness, right? Like genuinely just trying to get your message across, uh, in a kind and compassionate way. So that can be coming into the forefront this month as well. This can also be a very social time. So you may see your social calendar light up this month collectively, right? Or we might collectively see that. You might see uh, things sort of pick up, the pace pick up a bit. Three energy is big energy. It wants to be seen and heard and experienced. So anywhere within your life where you might be making yourself small, you could see sort of this energy light that area up and ask you to step out into the spotlight a bit more, ask you to, again, express yourself in an authentic, beautiful way um, that's that feels true for you, right? And so again, you might see the opportunities for collaboration, networking come into play. Uh, it's up to you whether you say yes to those invitations or not, but this is a great time to meet new people, meet new friends, um, significant others, or business partners, right? People who will help you to get your message across on a bigger platform. When we work together and work with others, we often, of course, have there's greater energy behind whatever that is. And so that helps us to, again, get that message out in a bigger, more expansive way. So big, big energy this month, uh, the month of May collectively, again, three energy wants to be seen, expressed and experienced, right? So anywhere that you've been sort of making yourself small or trying to hide in the shadows, this energy is going to sort of push you outside your comfort zone a little bit so that you can be seen so that you can share your gifts so that you can sit, you know, find your rightful place at the table, sit there and feel confident there, feel, you know, own that space. So three energy doesn't allow us or doesn't want us to minimize who we are. It wants us to express who we are and do that in a kind, compassionate way where we're not trying to take somebody else's uh, spotlight away from them because there's room on the stage for everyone. So beautiful, beautiful energy this month with that three energy again is what we do with it. But uh, I love to see this. This is a very collaborative coming together, working together, uh, sharing ideas type of energy. And so when we can do that in a harmonious um, sort of beautiful way, uh, the rewards are great. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at each personal month and how these energies could be affecting uh, you as we move through May. If you are in a personal month eight for the month of May, then this month you could see a focus on career, business, your career sector sort of highlighted now. Not only your career sector, but finance, resources, status, power, um, sort of the platform that you have to get a message across and recognizing the influence that you may have with that platform, whether you recognize it or not. Um, power struggles can come into play at this time and finding ways to sort of redistribute that power or balance that power out. Uh, money, finances, resources can all come into play during this month, as well as any kind of like litigation, contracts, legal proceedings could also come into play this month. So if you're signing contracts, if you're doing anything that um, requires some kind of legal proceeding or committing to something long-term, so I'm thinking like marriages or divorce or adoption or signing a work contract or something like that, you just want to make sure that there's integrity behind it. And you just want to make sure that you're, you know, you feel it feels aligned for you. You might want to get a second set of eyes on it just to make sure that um, somebody is not trying to manipulate or gain power over you, right? Or isn't giving you the full story, right? So I'm thinking about like buying a house type thing. Just make sure that everything looks good. And of course, have somebody else that's in the profession take a look at it. Because again, this is something you're committing to potentially long-term. And so you just want to make sure that, that everything looks good. Now during this month, again, you could see, um, you might get a promotion, you might get a demotion, you might get, um, but usually under this energy, there's something that is bringing about potentially a, um, either some kind of a lesson or, you know, challenge to overcome. So again, you know, you might get a demotion and then have to figure out, you know, how to adjust to the finance change or the responsibility change or whatever. But a lot of times uh, with this energy, it is sort of that powerhouse energy. It's that very ambitious energy. Um, and so it's very likely that you'll see some kind of increase in responsibility. So, and potentially increase in finances. So it's possible that you might get a promotion and with that promotion, of course, comes more responsibility and more financial um, support, right? Uh, that's very possible. Uh, it's a very strong leadership energy. It's also about seeing the bigger vision, right? And like deciding then how you want to move towards that vision, but committing to that vision in some way. And so again, that's why we come to like the contracts. That's very possible as well. Um, so it's very possible that this month you might see again, like big ideas, big visions come into play where you're excited about them. And so you want to move towards them. Um, and that can, in fact, a, um, have an effect on your finances, your resources, uh, again, buying or selling a home that's very possible under this energy, or at least being initiated under this energy is also possible. Starting your own business or becoming uh, an expert at something is very supported this month. So uh, entrepreneurship, absolutely supported this month, or at least starting that process, right? Seeing the vision, and starting to work towards that is very supported under this energy. Uh, and it has the potential to be very successful. This energy encourages you to take a risk. So as long as it feels aligned for you and, um, you know, cause ultimately you're the one that has to make that final decision, but it's a very risk taking sort of energy, understanding that with risks, sometimes those pay off, sometimes they don't, but even if they don't, there's something to take away from that. And so, so very, very, uh, powerful energy. Okay. So on the 5th of May, we have a full moon lunar eclipse. Now lunar eclipses or eclipses in general are faded moments. There's its destiny coming in and sort of shifting or, or um, adjusting the playing field, right? So there's potentially something that will come in very faded under this eclipse, which by the way, can unfold over the next six months to a year even but some kind of storyline will be initiated at this time, right? Or something will be closed out so that something else can come in. And now for you all, you all working with the energy of the seven. Seven is like the most uh, psychic energy in numerology. We're all psychic, but we, but sevens are just sort of very attuned to that or very connected to that, whether they recognize it right away or not. Uh, so anytime we're in a seven cycle, it's sort of 
thins the veil. It's like new insights, new intuitive hits, new psychic downloads can occur during this time, whether it's through dreams or just that gut feeling. Uh, can kind of come in around this time. And then we are meant to take those inspirations, take those ideas, take those downloads <clears throat> and do something with them, create something physical from that, uh, that wisdom, that inspiration that's come through. Seven energy is the bridge between the metaphysical and the physical, the seen and the unseen, <clears throat> the tangible and the intangible. <clears throat> and so, uh, there's something here this month, especially because it's happening during an eclipse, that you are meant to take from the unseen and make it your own, but create something very tangible from it. What you do with that is going to be up to you, but you might have new gifts open up for you, new ideas um, to play with. And the reason why I sort of am really drawn to this side of the seven energy for you all is because you're, this is all kicking off under the influence of the eight. Right. So again, all those things I talked about with the eight energy are now kind of tying in with this eclipse energy of the seven for you all. So there's definitely something here about new ideas, new inspirations, and you sort of being the magician in this scenario and turning them into something real, something tangible, uh, which isn't always easy, but trusting yourself in that process, trusting the insights that you're getting, trusting the universe to support you once you commit to whatever this is. Uh, and remembering this is some kind of a faded, destined moment that is unfolding over the next six months to a year. <clears throat> and so it's not going to happen immediately, but you'll have some idea of what this is, what the theme is going to be. It can also be uh, around trust or the truth of something. So there could be some things that kind of come up uh, over the next period uh, with this eclipse around trust, trusting others, trusting self, trusting the universe, right? And again, I'm going to tie that back to the energy of the eight. So it might be that there's power struggles. And then, you know, how do you trust somebody else after you've been through an experience with someone that was disempowering, right? How do you trust yourself after making a decision that didn't work out? So there's a lot that kind of can come into play. How do you trust the universe after, you know, a tragic event type thing, right? So there's some things that could also kind of come in that will sort of force you to take a look at your mindsets and your belief systems and um, the sort of blanket mistrust that you might put on people based on past experiences is also possible, right? <clears throat> Um, let's see if there's anything else I want to say about the seven. Oh, well, it can also bring in to focus like holistic health. Uh, so if there's anywhere that feels disconnected, there might be an emphasis or pressure put on, uh, getting reconnected, right? So again, body, mind, spirit, if there's anywhere you feel a disconnect, this energy can ask you or put the focus on it to be like, all right, we need to get this aligned. How you do that will, <clears throat> you'll figure out over the next coming six months. Okay, so, but really strong, strong emphasis on career here, or again, any of those things I sort of talked about with the eight energy, um, or becoming the expert at something. Now, also, I will say this, for some of you, and this is more specific, so it's not gonna be for everyone, but because you have the energy of the eight, remember becoming an expert at something, uh, and the energy of the seven at this eclipse, very likely that some of you will go back to school or will go, you know, do an online program, something like that to, again, like sort of um, master those skills, right? Become the expert at something. Uh, so it's a very focused energy, uh, learning another language. Um, again, like just going after you know, maybe you're a doctor, but you always want to be an, um, an anthropologist. And so you go back to school and shift gears, right? And your passion is behind you now. And so you want to become the expert in that field. Very, very possible, especially under eclipse energy. So if something comes in strongly for you, even if it looks totally different than where you've been headed, but it feels very aligned, um, you're really given the green light to explore that, especially because collectively we're in a three cycle in, in May, right? So again, creation, creativity, moving towards those goals in a big way. Um, yeah, could definitely see that for some of you or for some of you really becoming that, you know, achieving that expertise, right? Like becoming that expert and then getting a job or, um, promotion or position 
where you're using that expertise, right? And so then again, that shifts a lot of things to do with the A, right? It shifts the responsibility, the power, the status, uh, and potentially the finances. So a lot kind of going on here for you all around those themes, potentially. Uh, and then on the 19th or the 20th, depending on where you live in the world, we have a new moon, new starts, new initiations, setting intentions, uh, starting to plan uh, how you want to do something. For you all, this is interesting. You have the energy of the three and the four. And so again, we've got that strong creativity, that big like creative life force. I want to <clears throat> create something, put it out into the world. I want to birth something, right? Whether that's an actual person or that is a creative project. So you have this big energy of the three that wants to be seen and heard and expressed. Uh, but then you have the energy of the four. And so this is the planning part. This is the one that says, yeah, we can create it, but we're going to do it in a way that's sustainable. That's going to last this test of time. We're going to look at the details, right? So you have all these really powerful energies that you're working with this month. You have the energy of the eight, which is the vision. Then around this new moon, you have not only the strong creative energy coming through and communicative energy coming through, but you have the energy of the four, which is the details, right? So the eight sees it, the four cre like helps to create it. <clears throat> and the four is going to make sure it's like a task master type energy and a checkpoint energy. So it's going to keep coming in and being like, all right, this is what we're moving towards. Is this what you still want? Or do we need to make adjustments? Right. And so you might see, again, remember, this is in the same sort of energy as this eclipse is happening, right? So you may see this sort of unfold over the coming months. Um, and so this four energy is just going to slow things down, which can be frustrating, but that just brings patience, right? They can slow things down, but to the point where it's just saying to you, is this what you want to commit to? Is this what you're still moving towards? Is this still what you want? Is this what you want it to look like type thing? So the three and the four together, though the three is a much bigger, like really wants to like just go right and be creative. And it's hard to create when you're feeling restricted. The four is a more restrictive energy or a more refined energy. It's really going to just make you look at the the steps and make sure that you're not skipping steps and make sure that you're not trying to go from A to Z too quickly, right? And so um, when you can find your sweet spot with those energies is beautiful. So I would say for you all around this new moon, definitely an opportunity for um, big creative ideas and to use this time for um, planning, for deciding on how you want to get there, right? How you want to make it happen. Who do you need to call in? What does it look like? Um, what does the, what do you want the end project to look like? And you know, what are the steps to get you there? And the four energy is absolutely going to help you to stay focused on that, right? To make sure that you want to become the expert at this, the four energy is going to ensure that you do. Uh, and then keep checking in with you to make sure that it's still what you want. So beautiful energies this month for you if you're in a personal month eight. And again, you know, this eclipse is happening while it's in uh, a personal month eight. So it, it definitely marries with those energies, right? It merges with those energies. And so, um, yeah, you could see this, um, you could kind of look back at this potentially in the next six months to a year, you could look back at this month and um, there'll probably be themes of whatever it is that you initiate this month, right? That are tied to this. So beautiful, beautiful energies, you all. All right, well, I hope it's a great uh, eclipse for you all and I hope it's a great month. Take care, everyone. Bye for now.